Okay, so now, um, so we took off this uh, lid which was uh, uh, placed here, and we took with this off, and we can we can now see the electronics inside the vehicle. So let let me talk to you more about what's going on as of now, right now in this vehicle. So at the back, this is a huge gearbox here. What this gearbox does is that it has got a DC motor here. It's a thick DC motor here. Uh, this is a brushed DC motor. It has got uh, three wires coming out of it. Normally DC motors have got only two wires coming out of it. This has got three wires. So the brown and the blue one are actually uh, the power wires. One for positive and for negative. The third black wire is actually for suppression of noise because it is a thick motor. Uh, it will generate a lot of uh, noise in the sense of electro electronic uh, interferences. So what this blue black wire does is it has to be connected to the ground of the circuit so that all those electrical uh, noises can be uh, uh, can be dumped or uh, can be synced into ground and they don't actually interfere with the other digital electronics and other low voltage electronics which are generally present inside this circuit. Um, and we don't need to dismantle the back portion because uh, it has got a lot of gears. Um, we don't want to open this because once you open it, it actually opens up a Pandora box of gears. And if we don't understand the mechanics in detail, we may end up being not able to put it back together. What's important for us is that there are wires coming from the behind of this vehicle into the circuit and we will um, severe these wires somewhere here and we will reuse them in the new circuit. In the front, uh, what you see here is, uh, this is another DC motor here, which uh, has got uh, uh, a mechanical system here. And this mechanical system is uh, then connected to this steel wire and the steel wire then uh, pulls or pushes the wheels uh, towards left or right and they do it for both the wheels. So both the wheels have got this wire which is connected to this um, motor and to steer the vehicle what mot this motor does is that either it turns left or turns right um, in a lot of projects that other people have done we have seen that they have used a servo motor which can turn clockwise or anti-clockwise by a certain angle say 180 degree or uh, 90 degrees but i think even this dc motor is also fit for purpose because we can either rotate it left or right using the dc controller that we spoke about earlier and it should be able to do if in case this doesn't work according to our expectation, uh, what we will do is we will replace this motor here with a servo motor um, and then we will have a better control and precision on the steering. It is also possible that uh, even if the servo motor is not able to give us more precision, we may be, we may be replacing it with the a stepper motor which will give us a very accurate precision of how much we want to steer the vehicle left or right but i think in the version one of our project we will stick to the stock dc motor maybe the second version will have a servo motor and a third version of it will have a stepper motor but right now this is what we are going ahead with in terms of the existing electronics uh, we can see here that uh, the front uh, DC motor is connected to this circuit so what this circuit does here is uh, so there's the antenna also connected to this circuit so what this circuit currently does it receives the radio frequency signal from the remote and then there is an integrated circuit here this circuit understands the radio signal and then it sends the instructions to these uh, there are four uh, transistors here what these transistors do is that they together form a dual edge bridge circuit which is used to drive the two motors one at the back and one at the front 
so what we are going to do is we are going to take this circuit out now because we don't need this circuit and what we will do we will replace this circuit with a circuit of our own so the circuit that we are going to put will now comprise of uh, a small Adreno nano board and one of these DC voltage uh, DC motor controller so these two devices will basically replace the existing circuit and uh, these this Adreno uh, it will receive the instructions from Raspberry Pi and those instructions will tell the Adreno to either move the vehicle forward back left right and even also tell Adreno on the speed as well so how, how fast the vehicle should move so we should be able to control the speed as well so all that will so all these existing electronics will now be replaced with just two of these PCBs and uh, then we will connect the Raspberry Pi so now start we'll start with uh, disconnecting the wires so first we cut the uh, front DC controller DC motor wires so wait so cut from here somewhere here okay so so the front DC motor wire is now cut um, let's cut the rear uh, so let's cut the rear DC motor wire also so let's see so let's cut the brown wire from here okay so one wire is out let's take the blue wire so cut the blue wire also from yeah good uh, let's take the um, noise suppression wire also out so now all the three wires of the rear motor are separated from the circuit so we move them at the back next is to cut the uh, so this is a terminal on which a battery is connected below the chassis so now we will cut the power also from the circuit can you cut the black wire so now he is cutting the black wire so that's the ground voltage or uh, zero volt so that is now separate and now let's cut the positive wire also so now the terminal is also gone uh, what is left now is the antenna here so we will cut the antenna here great um, so now we can see that the circuit in itself is uh, completely disconnected there is just one screw which is holding it so we will unscrew this one also and hopefully we should get full access to the controller card and I'll also talk a little detail about the electronics here yeah so it has come out now so let's talk in about the existing circuit also so you can see that uh, this PCB has got an on off switch our vehicle will also have an on off switch so we will either uh, put a new switch something of similar sort and there was a switch for switching the channels our new vehicle will not have the channel switcher so this is not required in our new design mm -hmm. so these are the power ic's uh, power transistors uh, which were driving the the motors now so these transistors are now being replaced with this uh, integrated circuit which also has got uh, transistors inside but it's a it's an integrated device which is capable of powering two DC motors um, through one device or it can power one servo motor so we are using two DC motors so we will use one such device so this this device here basically does the work of uh, four transistors here one two three four right so these four, four transistors are together forming a dual edge bridge and the modern design has got that dual edge bridge 
implemented inside this one uh, integrated circuit cool and besides that uh, we will hopefully not require this uh, this device uh, but we will preserve this electronics for any future project um, so next uh, what we will do is uh, we'll try to just roughly place our devices on the chassis to understand how they will fit the overall circuit uh, so we come back to our bare chassis now I think uh, it has got plenty of space now for us to put things together so I think somewhere here we will mount uh, the um, DC controller like this it fits perfectly and somewhere here um, we will put the Adreno Nano board so we will have to uh, maybe use some hot glue to uh, kind of stabilize this PCB here and then we will wire it together but right now we can see that our Adreno Nano doesn't have the connecting pins soldered so first we will solder all the connecting pins and then we will start doing the wires using the uh, male female uh, jumper wires uh, so we will need um, wires like this which are available you can take as many as you want out of this bunch and then you can use them to wire there are wires like this one is uh, which what is this type Where? Male, to male. male to male this one is this one is Female to female. And what is the third one you have? This is a female to male. Yeah. So depending on where you are, your circuit is originates and where it ends, you will have to use one of these three types of vehicles. Uh, and uh, I think uh, we are ready. So one other thing is that this chassis has got a lot of strength, otherwise, uh, and good construction. So no other engineering required as such as far as mechanics is concerned. It should be able to endure some, some rough patches on the on the street. Um, otherwise, I think um, the overall construction is quite quite rugged. Yeah. Whatever had to come off had already come off uh, during our initial road test. So what we are left with now is a robust chassis. Um, we may have to also put one sort of a plastic sheet on top of this uh, to uh, to basically mount other electronics on top of this. Uh, but I think right now we are good to get into the next step. So in the next step what we will do is we will start wiring the DC motors. So we will wire the rear DC motor, we will wire the front DC motor to this DC controller and we will wire the Adreno board to the DC controller and then what we will do is we will put some test programs in Adreno to just do a check on the basic mechanics so once the wiring is done what we will do is we will check whether we are able to move the rear, uh, rear wheels front uh, and back mm -hmm. We will check whether we are able to control the front wheels left and right. Right now the angle of turn is not important. But what we will do is either left or right. And the third thing is whether we are able to control the speed of the rear wheels. That's also very important.